Monday morning or Monday evening, whenever it is that you're watching this video, hello and welcome on into my beauty stash. My name is Steph and obviously I like to try lots and lots of new makeup because I have a bag full of new makeup, some from Sephora, some from Ulta indie makeup in here we are gonna get ready for work this morning if you guys want to come along for the ride keep on watching okay let's start by getting this hair do i want to pin it back or do i want to pull it back i think i'm going to get a headband hang on i think this little headband will work better how is everybody doing either this morning, this evening, I don't know when this video is going up and I don't know when it is, what time of day uh, when you're watching me, but hopefully you're watching me when you're also getting ready maybe to go to work or just getting ready for the day. And I'm gonna go in first with this lip scrub, the new one from ColourPop in the Snow White collection. The one I says smells like and tastes like a sour apple martini. I am getting ready to go to work. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Oh, wake me up this morning. And I decided, you know what? I want to go to work with makeup on because there's still many days that I don't do that. And I thought I have a whole bunch of new makeup just sitting here. I was really sick yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. And um, I was really sick from my stomach all day long. I just, it was a total waste of a day for me, like work wise here in my beauty stash. I was supposed to do two videos and I couldn't do any one of them. So I'm going to try and get them both done today, one before work, one after work. And I was supposed to film my Chucky, my Glam Light and Chucky video, where I was going to create three or four different looks with the palette, just right here. But I'm going to use it in today's video, so don't you worry. Uh, next, I'm going to go in with primer. I already have my sunscreen on and all that. This is the Pacifica Matte Greens Prime Blur and Mattify Primer. So I was supposed to do that yesterday and nothing. I was literally in bed all day long with the exception of late, like not late in the evening, but like let's say six or seven in the evening when I finally got up to just take a shower, just get ready for bed because I knew I was going to go to bed super early um, and then just get this little bag together that I was hoping I would feel good in the morning so I could film with and I did. Woke up early and here we are. This matte primer has turned out to be really good. And I got this one from Ulta. Um, I think I've only used this once on camera, but I did show it in my Ulta haul video where I was just like swatching and testing everything. It does a, a pretty decent job at mat mattifying the skin. And in case you don't know, I am 40 years old with normal to oily skin, oily primarily in my T-zone. So next we're going to go in with foundation and I need to give this one another shot before I film my monthly makeup haul review video, which I'm probably going to be filming midweek of this week. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow. Uh, it's their skin tint. It's their skin tint. The shade I have is 16 and fair. Uh, I will say, and this is something that oh, quite a few of you have noticed, the shades are leaning a little on the dark side. Uh, they didn't have a shade 14, or I would have gone with 14. It went from like 12 to 16, and usually I go for 14. So we're going to try and make this work today. I have a new makeup sponge that Sugar Drizzle sent me. How cute is that? And I have some new setting powders that they sent me as well. So we're going to try all of that newness in today's video. I'm going to use my Anissa Beauty foundation brush. Actually, do I have... Do I have the foundation brush here that came with that? Because the foundation, yeah, here it is. I'll use the foundation brush that came with the foundation. You can find this. I picked mine up at QVC. I want to say right now, and you can see, like, it's a darker shade. Um, you can see that, uh, or you can see it on the QVC website, I should say. And with the brush, this retails for about, it's about 42 bucks or something like that, like in the, $40, $40 price range. It'll be linked in the description box as will everything else that I am using in today's video. And as usual, some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Yeah, you can see it's just, it's a little too dark for me. I will hopefully grow into it 
this spring and summer. I do want to spend a few days at our local beach uh, heading into summer. Hopefully that can happen. I'm traveling, taking my vacation earlier in the summer this year, so that's always a good thing. Have you guys started planning your summer vacation? Where are you thinking of going? For me, a vacation is somewhere where I can just go relax. I don't have to do a lot of walking. I don't have to do a bunch of sightseeing. I can just go and be <laughs> and not have to do a lot. And usually for me, that is a beach vacation. Like that is the epitome of the word vacation for me. And that's what I usually do every single summer. Go somewhere to a nice beach and just relax. So this foundation, this is a pretty foundation. It's just a very glowy foundation, which is why I wanted to go in with the mattifying primer. And we're definitely gonna set the entire face. I'm gonna try and bring this down as much as I can. I don't know yet what I'm wearing to work. I just have my robe on right now. But yeah, this is a glowy foundation that's a little too dark for me. So we need to make this work today. And for those of you wondering about the mirror, yes, I was able to take the decal off. I just wasn't seeing the little lip for that on the side during the video. This is a mirror from ColourPop and Snow White. So I love that. Now I can use this one or I can use my Chucky and Glam Light. I'm going to use the Chucky and Glam Light one when we start um, making or creating the eye look. Okay, I'm, I'm as glowy as as I want to be today. Now I need to put some concealer on. So for concealer, I'm still testing out this one from Nude Sticks. It is their cream concealer and I have the shade Nude 3. I have the mini size. The last two times that I've worn this, I enjoyed it. It sat well under the eye area, provided good coverage. I am expecting it to do the same today. I'm going to be pairing this with the new setting powders from Sugar Drizzle. Sugar Drizzle released two new setting powders that I'm really excited for. I'm going to use this Real Techniques uh, concealer brush. They released a translucent and they released a banana. I don't know if the banana might be too dark for me. It's a yellow powder. I feel like I have a hair here. It's a yellow powder, but um, I'm afraid it might, at least on me, because I'm more fair to light, it might make the concealer or the foundation oxidize. And we don't want that because it's already, foundation is already too dark. Just kind of spreading this, pressing it. This is a really nice concealer brush, by the way. And I got this one from Ulta. I'm going to pick up whatever I have left on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to use it to press over the complexion. And of course, the new makeup sponge feels really good. Feels soft. What does this one feel like? It actually feels feels like a beauty blender, to be honest. I think these retail for like 10 bucks or 12 bucks on the Sugar Drizzle uh, site. And I have a code with Sugar Drizzle. I believe it's Steph 10. It's Steph or Steph 10. I can't remember which ones are Steph and Steph 10. I think it's Steph 10. And it'll give you 10% off of uh, your order on their site. I'll have it in the description box in case you want to pick up anything. They did do a restock recently of some of their palettes, but I don't know if they've already sold out again. So it'll be linked. All right, next I'm going to go in with cream bronzer. So I have this one from Milk Makeup. I used this once, but I used it off camera. And when I got it home, I was like, oh, they sent me the travel size. This is the full size. Like, this is tiny. The lipstick is bigger than this. This is $24. I was, I, I don't know. I've never had a milk product like this, so I guess that's why I'm shocked. Um, this one is the Sculpt Stick in the shade Stoked. So I thought we could use that, but then I also picked up the new one from Laura Mercier. This is their Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. I'm not sure on this. I don't know if this is going to be maybe like a more all over thing. I got shade 03 Sunbeam. Let's swatch this. Let's look at this. I don't know if this is something that I blend in with the foundation or like apply it under. No, you can definitely use that. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's use them both. We can do one on each side. Why not? I'm going to start first with the milk side. We'll do something like that. Use my Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush. This is 
blending so well. This is the first time I've tried a product like this from Milk. I don't have anything like in those little tubes or anything like that. I will say for me as a brand, Milk is hit or miss. Um, you know, some things work, sometimes they don't. I like their primer. I like their setting spray. This bronzer seems to be doing pretty good, or it's like a contour sculpt stick is what they're calling it. It looks nice. I like the shade. I feel like it's not sticking right here. Let's go on to the left side, and we'll uh, start trying the one from Laura Mercier. So I guess I'm just going to do... I don't know how much is going to be too much, but let's start there. So this might be something that you can apply like as a foundation, I guess, or I don't know, or mix it in with your tinted moisturizer, or I don't know, make a moisturizer, a, tint, a tinted moisturizer by adding this. I, I would imagine use it this, the way I'm using it, just as like a liquid bronzer. Okay, why do I look kind of red there? I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. I think that's just easier. I mean, I like the shade and stuff. It's more cool, I think, like neutral to cool. Maybe it's also the foundation underneath because it's so glowy. I don't like the way it looks in this area, and I don't like the way it looked over here. I think it's the foundation. I'm going to do a little bit of this on my nose. Okay, so I definitely look very bronze, very glowy. I look like I've been on vacation. We are gonna take the glow down, don't worry. All right, so since these are all the cream products I'm going in with, I'm gonna set my face with one of the newest setting sprays in my stash, and it's the one from Too Faced Makeup Insurance. This is the 18 hour uh, setting spray. All right, so now we're gonna do setting powder and this is what they look like. I think Nikki, the owner, did a great job with the packaging. We have the banana and we have the translucent. So I'm gonna do translucent for sure under my eye area. You open it up, you do get a puff, but they also sent me one of their new triangular puffs right here. So I wanna use this one today. I don't always use the puffs that come inside the powder, so I'm more, I'm more apt to use this one and it does come sealed. I'm just gonna pour a little bit out here. No scent to it. Make sure, pat out my under eye area, make sure everything is pressed in there. Press that in. I'm just kind of taking some off on the back of my hand. Ooh, I see, I see glitter particles in there. I see it on the puff too. That's weird, okay. See what's gonna happen. Well, that is definitely brightening. I don't think I've ever noticed a powder like that. I don't see it oxidizing, which is good. Let me take a closer look at this. It's brightening, but then right here, it looks like I have highlighter. Let me see, does it say? Mica silica lock in makeup with our translucent weightless loose setting powder developed with ultra fine smooth powders to provide long wearing soft focus matte finish without feeling heavy or looking cakey always 100% cruelty free and vegan I'm just not liking this situation right here you see how that looks like it's highlighted let me let's move over to the banana powder Okay, so the banana powder is obviously going to be yellow. I'm not seeing any of those little particles, like glitter particles. I'm going to take the opposite side. That one's better. Oh yeah, that is much better. Can you see a difference there? Like this looks like highlighter. And this is matte. This is what I wanted. So for me... This is going to be like an all over finishing powder, not, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to remove that because I don't, I don't really like the way that looks. I'll be right back. Okay. So let me start applying more of that banana powder and let me do it to this under eye. 
the one I was thinking I wasn't going to get use out of. And wow, that's the better one, at least for me. I'm also going to bring it down here. I have the new House Labs blush that we're going to try out. I got a fun shade too. I got one of those red pink shades. This is definitely providing a nice mattifying effect and I don't see that it's like caking up or anything, which is great. Um, as for that other one, uh, maybe we can try it as a setting powder, not a setting powder, a finishing powder, even a highlighter. But yeah, that's the translucent one is not going to be for me uh, to do this type of setting work. Now it's time for blush, and this is a shade I picked up from House Labs. The shade is called uh, Watermelon Bliss. Let's dip in here. I'm using my Olimar Cosmetics brush. Ooh. Take a little bit off on the back of my hand. This is a matte blush. I want to say there was like eight different shades, something, something like that, six to eight. I think this is going to go great with the eyeshadow palette. All right, that blush definitely packs a punch. There is a lot of payoff from it, but I like that you can sheer it out some. It's just really, really colorful. Again, I got a deep shade. You, There are other shades to choose from. You don't have to get one that's like this bright but I just wanted something bright and fun and I'm loving this. Now for highlighter, I still hadn't tried this one from Too Faced that I picked up back in January. This is part of their Pinker Times Ahead collection. I totally forgot about this highlighter. Like it's a small little highlighter and it was hiding behind some of the, the larger highlighter uh, highlighters that I have and totally forgot to use it. I like it, it's a pink little highlighter. Use another Olimar Cosmetics brush. I think this is perfect for this blush. A little bit right here. I do have a new lipstick from Patrick Star, one size, that I want to put on right now before I go off camera and do my brows because I don't have any new brow products. Just using the blush brush to blend. Ooh, I'm loving that. All right, next lipstick. And this is the new Lip Snatcher Velvet Flex Cream and Cushion Gloss Lip Duo. The shade I picked up is No Speed Limit. I don't know how it's going to go with this look. We'll find out. It's kind of like a ready red-orange. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to shake it. I'm just going to have it on. I might not keep it on all day, but at least for this video. Ooh, that's a beautiful shade. Mm, I love that. Definitely matte. Now let's go in with the gloss side. Wow, this is a beautiful shade. I cannot wait to try another shade in this one. This is beautiful. And I'll see, I'll let you know in the in a pinned comment how it wore all day. Lip Snatcher shade, no speed limit. Love it. I'm going to go off camera, take care of brows. I'll be right back and we're going to start playing with that Chucky and Glam Light palette. All right, brows are on, eyeshadow primers on. I'm using my favorite Too Faced Shadow Insurance uh, primer. So let's dive into Chucky and Glam Light. A dark, deep palette. I cannot wait. I want to start. Um... I think I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to do like this, this, and this. And yeah, I don't think this lipstick is going to go with this palette, but we'll see. I I'm going to leave it on. I I I'm liking the way the lipstick is looking. Um, I am drinking out of my water bottle over here, and it did come off on the straw. So we'll see how long wearing it is. I'll definitely update you in a pinned comment. First shade I'm going in with is called Scarier Than Ever, and I'm going to take that on a BKA503. Have your Chucky boxes arrived? Those of you that ordered, I know some of you were waiting for this. I have to say that I usually don't get Glamlight orders this fast. I was shocked that my order 
arrived when it did. I mean, usually it takes three weeks for Glam Light to ship out my order. And that's because I order on launch day, like at the time it launches. I got lucky with this one for some reason. So if you want to see me arm swatch everything in the collection, I do have a video on this. It went up last week. So it gives you a close up look as to what these swatches look like. I kind of just walk you through what I think are the shade descriptions, like how I, I'm seeing it. So if you want to check that out, definitely check that out. But I haven't done like a dedicated look video. Again, I was supposed to do that this weekend and then I wasn't feeling well yesterday. So here we are today doing a get ready with me uh, with the palette instead. Now on a BK211, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. The shade is called Till Death Do Us Part. I will say that I felt the deeper matte shades swatched out so well when compared to like this shade right here that I just used. When that's one of the lighter shades. And you'll see that if you watch the video. I like that Glam Light took a risk with the theme for Valentine's Day. I thought it was, you know, a cute way to include Valentine's and Halloween or kind of maybe do like an anti-Valentine's Day themed. I just thought it was a really cute idea. And this was actually the idea of their vice president. This is a collection he'd been wanting to do for a while. So I'm glad that um, they allowed him to do it because I think it came out really cute. Cute if you like Chucky. All right, so I think that is coming out really well. I'm liking it. Uh, now we're going to go into this really dark matte right here. This one is called Play Pals. And I'm taking this shade on a Refer 13. I'm going to focus it primarily out here. Ever so slightly in the crease. I'm going back in with that second shade I used just to kind of blend a little bit here. Now this BKA504, I think I'm going to do this shade right here for the lower lash line. This one is called Let's Be Friends. I'm going to take that about halfway. Now for the lid, I think I'm going to go in with this shade just so it can maybe tie in with the lipstick a little bit. This one's called Charles Z. Ray. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. You know, I don't know that I'm liking the way this is turning out. I think maybe the lower lash line shade is throwing me off. For some reason, I don't know that I got the blend that I wanted up here either. This is not, at least for me, um, I mean, these are all like deep, deep shades. This is definitely not going to be a palette for everybody. And it's not, especially if you're not used to working with shadows this deep, it's not going to be just a quick out the door and go. Like you're going to have to take some time to blend this stuff. I'm going to add this shade right here. I'm going to go back in with that shade to the lower lash line. I feel like it's just too cool toned under there. And I'm working with like warmer tone shades. Maybe that's what's going on. I'm definitely going to have to add something lighter to the lid. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is Wanna Play. I'm going to add that right here to the center. Oh yeah, that definitely helped out. Taking that same shade on a damp Refro 3 and I'm just going to use that right here for the inner corner. I kind of wish there was a matte white in this palette. But uh, I understand why there's not. So I am going to be using the two eyeliners that came in this collection. We have a wooden black eyeliner pencil. And then we have one that is a super fine brush tip. So I'm going to go off camera and do the eyeliner. I also want to show you I am going to apply these lashes. These are the new ones from BK Beauty by Risa Does Makeup. Uh, these are the Day Club lashes. So I'll pop off camera, do that. Oh, and the mascara I'm using is my new tube of uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, the original one. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So here is the completed look with the Glam Light Chucky palette. Full face of trying new makeup. Um, I will say 
the eyeshadow palette took a little more work than I was expecting and that's because of course you're getting nothing but really dark deep shades I can see how this palette is not gonna be for everybody and I know some of you mentioned you didn't pick it up for that very reason um, this is the first time I've ever dipped into it other than swatching it. So I definitely want to play around with it some more. But first impressions, swatches were good, but I don't really know that I'm loving the look. I don't know, maybe it's the lip color that's throwing, throwing me off. But I will say these new ones from One Size Lip Colors, definitely worth checking out um the lashes this is the third pair already that i wear from this collaboration with bk beauty and risa does makeup they're so lightweight they're very easy to apply i i trimmed a lot off of them so they're almost kind of like a half lash and they're so lightweight they're just they're just really good as far as where's my bag here the sugar drizzle setting powder so for me the winner was the banana one that was the one that just saved the day this one the translucent one one. I'm gonna talk to Nikki about it maybe um, I don't know maybe I didn't get the right one but this one does have glitter in it the translucent one so I'm not I don't know how I'm gonna be using this one going forward I don't even know that I want to use it as a uh, finishing powder so I'm gonna talk to her get her feedback on it or let her know what I thought of it and maybe she has a recommendation for me the new house labs blush beautiful again the shade that i picked up is watermelon bliss i love it i think it's a perfect pairing with the uh patrick star lipstick the uh, juicy maracuja juicy glow from tarte if you want a foundation that's going to keep you glowing all the way through summer this is going to be the one that you need to add to your list um the laura mercier tinted what was it tinted moisturizer bronzer i'm gonna keep playing with this one so far between the two i think i'm liking the the milk uh sculpt stick a little bit better just because you know it's easier to work with swipe it blend it and go this is already the second time that i use this one but i don't think i used it first time on camera all of the other products you've seen me use on camera they're just relatively new to my sash oh and the Too faced highlighter this one is pinker times ahead i like it i think it paired well with the blush overall i'm loving the makeup look i'm just i think maybe it's the lipstick and the eye look that's kind of throwing me off but i'm gonna go with it i'm gonna stay like this all day and i'll give you a uh pinned comment letting you know how the lipstick wore because i'm sure some of you are going to be very curious about that let me know if you guys have picked up anything in this uh recent sephora ulta haul that i did what was some of your favorite products that i used what are some new things that you have added recently to your stash sound off in the comments down below if it is your first time here hello and welcome make sure you click that subscribe button and hit the bell before you go that way i can see you back here tomorrow i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water i'll see y'all very soon bye